Okay guys, thank you for clicking on this video. I did have some recording issues, so I'm going to have to do a voiceover for this whole tutorial rather than live. Uh, but just so you guys know, this tutorial is going to be about textures, focusing on textures for metals, uh, as well as just really neat textures you can do for your character's uh, shirt and other materials like that. So I. I hope this tutorial can be helpful for you guys and at the end we're going to go over a pretty neat uh, trick you can do for tight clothing on fabric so stick around and I'll show you all of these things in the next 10 minutes. Okay so the first thing I have to do for my <laughs> scene here is to make my character completely bald. Uh, I have to do this because my computer literally has a hard time running <laughs> with how much hair this character has. So for this video, you're going to have a nice bald character. <laughs> uh, I didn't get rid of all the hair, <laughs> just in a tasteful amount. Um, so, so to get it really started off, uh, find the object that you want to be working with, and I'm going to be working with the shield. And I've already got all of the nodes and everything here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these nodes so we can start from scratch and I can show you guys exactly what I'm doing. So first thing you need to do is add a texture, obviously, and we're going to try and make this look metallic very first. So kind of get it roughly in the color, but first thing you should do is really up that metallic all the way and then start messing with your base color and find out what kind of looks good. We're gonna go for kind of a bronzy look for our shield here. And then we're just gonna take down the roughness a little bit uh, to give it a nice shine. Uh, and now we're gonna add a magic texture. To, so to do that, just do Shift A and then type magic. Now we're gonna add a float curve. So Shift A, float curve, as well as Shift A, bump. Uh, and now for later we're going to add a mix RGB and you guys will see what we'll use that for. And now you, we're, I'll show you how to connect all these things. So the color and the magic goes to the value of the float curve and the value of the float curve goes to the height of your bump. And for now we're just going to plug the bump straight into the normal of your texture. And you're done. There you go. It's perfect. <laughs> Uh, just kidding guys. So for this why you're seeing these huge crevices is in your bump the height You need to lower that so it's something a little bit more manageable uh, And you'll see that already helps it quite a bit But now let's over to our float curve and if we just raise that up It'll take that down even more so it doesn't quite stand out too much uh, And now we're just gonna mess with our scale and something around there and our distortion and what we're doing right now is trying to give our metal a really really nice grain feel to it so if it still looks almost too grainy and too noisy um, just mess with your height a little bit more I recommend something around 0 0.002 uh, and there you go now you've got like a really nice grain on it that almost looks like it's like a cast iron feel uh, now let's try and add these kind of cool ridges and imperfections to that metal. So we're just going to go back to our shield and what we're going to do is literally just uh, shift D your float curve and your bump and copy those down and drag them. Uh, now we're going to use that mix RGB and turn that to add. And instead of a magic texture, we are going to do Shift A and add a noise texture. And the order on these will be the exact same as up top. So color goes to value, uh, float goes to height, and then the bump goes to the color on your RGB. Now let's mess with the distance on that noise texture a bit, as well as the distortion on our noise texture and right now we're just kind of playing with it to see what looks good uh, so I'm gonna mess with my scale a little bit more and my distortion just a little bit more 
and this is really all up to preferences and I feel like something right around there looks pretty good so I'm fairly satisfied right there uh, okay so now let's mess with the detail maybe a little bit and like I said this is all just preferences and I like around there and I'm just gonna lower that height even more so it doesn't look quite so intense and right around there I think is looking pretty good and it almost looks like it has a cast iron uh, but bumps that were put in it over time so uh, now just so you guys know that is the exact same technique I did for the shirt so if you look here I just did two noise textures for the shirt because um, I didn't want it to look too grainy and I literally just copied them down and did a mix RGB and all and then I just played with it until it was roughly kind of the cool fabric I was going for. Uh, so now here's a kind of neat trick to have kind of a tight, transparent fabric on your character. So to show you this, I'm going to add some tights to this character. Uh, and hopefully uh, you guys can kind of see what I'm going for. So first, first thing is we're going to hit tab and go into edit mode for a character. And once you have done Shift A, drag, and select everything you want to mess with, add another texture to your character, and then just hit Assign. So now we're going to go into our shading, make sure that material that you just added is selected. And uh, I already have a texture I would like to work with for my character. So if you don't, I'll put a link and you can use my same website to add whichever textures you'd like. Uh, so then I'm doing Control shift t and I know exactly what texture I'm looking for so I'm just going to type it in here really fast. And there's our texture so it's looking a little long so first thing I want to do is go to the scale because it's obviously too large and we're just going to just tighten it up. We want it to look almost kind of stretched in some areas, so maybe a little bit more. Uh, right around there is pretty good. So next thing we want to do is I want to have black tights. So we're going to do uh, Shift A and then add a color ramp. And we're going to put that right in between the base color. I'm going to drag the black uh, a little closer and then I'm going to drag the white a little closer toward the middle as well and maybe change it to more of a gray to get the effect I'm looking for. And there you go those already look pretty good and like tights but they look a little flat so here's where the really neat trick comes in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our material tab and make sure that material is selected. Scroll to the bottom and enable subsurface translucency. Now scroll back up and make sure the subsurface color is the exact same skin tone for your character's texture. Uh, make sure you choose your actual texture for your character and not just uh, use the dabber on your character itself. Otherwise you might have some weird shadow effects that will mess up uh, the look we're going for. And then. Uh, for your actual subsurface, just turn it up and you will see we already have this kind of cool transparent effect. Uh, even though this texture is not actually over her leg skin or anything, uh, if you just use your subsurface and turn it up, you can just make it look like it has legs underneath. So, uh, just fiddle with that until you find something that kind of looks what you're looking for, whether it's thick fabric or thin fabric. And there you go, you have tights for your character. Now I'm also going to mess with the roughness, so I'm going to add another color ramp. And we're just going to drag this around until we get kind of what we're looking for. Uh, somewhere around there is pretty good for this fabric because it almost makes it look like there's imperfections, you can see. And then we're going to add the hair back in. So to do that, we're just going to do Alt-H. And we've added the hair back into our scene. And there you have it. Now we've got this character with a uh, shield texture and some tights. And we did this all in just about uh, 10 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Uh, I am sorry I had to do a voiceover for this. I hope I didn't miss anything because it is hard to rewatch a video and just try and remember everything that I need to say instead of while I'm doing it. Uh, but please guys consider subscribing so thank you guys so much I really appreciate all the support I love the people who are subscribed to my channel uh, and thank you guys so much have a terrific day